Journey through time, embracing enough. It was a sunny afternoon when Nia found herself in her grandmother's attic, sorting through old family photos. Among the dusty boxes, she discovered an ornate golden pocket watch. Curious, she flipped it open and was suddenly engulfed in a bright light. When the light faded, Nia found herself standing in a bustling high school hallway, unfamiliar yet strangely comforting. As she looked around, as Naya noticed a young girl standing by the lockers, nervously fiddling with her hair. The girl was strikingly familiar. She had the same almond-shaped eyes and warm brown skin as Nia. It took a moment for Nia to realize she was looking at her mother, but much younger. Her mother, Tasha, was in high school, trying to blend in with the popular crowd who were laughing and whispering at the other end of the hall. Naya's heart ached as she watched her mother's discomfort. She had always known her mom had struggled with fitting in during her teenage years, but seeing it firsthand was different. It was then that Nia remembered the affirmation she had been practicing. I am pretty. I am sweet. I am charming. I am enough for me. Taking a deep breath, Nia approached her young mother. Hey, she said, offering a warm smile. You okay? Tasha looked up, surprised. Yeah, just trying to figure things out, she replied, her voice wavering. Nia nodded, understanding. You know, you don't have to fit in with them to be amazing. You're already enough, just as you are. You are pretty, sweet, and charming. You are enough for you. Tasha's eyes widened, taken aback by the sincerity in Naya's words. Who are you? She asked, bewildered. Just someone who believes in you, Naya replied with a wink. Remember, you are enough. You don't need anyone's approval to see your worth. Before Tasha could respond, the school bell rang, and the scene around Nia started to blur. The pocket watch in her hand began to glow, and she felt herself being pulled back to the attic. When the light dimmed, Nia was back where she started, holding the watch in her hand. Curious to see if anything had changed, Nia rushed downstairs to find her mother. She found her sitting on the porch, sipping tea and reading a book. There was a lightness in her eyes, a confidence that Nia hadn't seen before. Hey, Mom, Nia said, smiling. Tasha looked up, her face glowing with joy. Hey, sweetheart. How's your day? Good, Nia replied, studying her mother's demeanor. You seem different, Tasha chuckled softly. I've been thinking a lot lately about how I used to try so hard to fit in when I was younger, but somewhere along the way, I realized I didn't need to. I found a sense of peace in just being me, you know? Nia's heart swelled with pride and happiness. She knew that her brief encounter with her mother in the past had made a significant impact. The woman before her was confident, content, and radiating self-love, a beautiful testament to the power of believing in oneself. As they sat together, Nia felt a deep sense of gratitude. Her journey through time had not only changed her mother's life, but had also reinforced her own belief in the affirmation. She knew now, more than ever, that being pretty, sweet, Charming and enough for oneself was the key to true happiness. Nia smiled, knowing that her mother had always been enough, just as she was. And now they both carried that empowering truth in their hearts, ready to face the world with confidence and love. The end.